baby. Hey, I'm eating eggs, everybody. I also look a little bit like Razor Ramon. Woo! We got a healer! Hold on a minute. Oh shit! It's the OG Xbox intro! That's cool! That little stupid drip coming down in that weird little reactor thing? But now it's in 4K. The Mjolnir Exosuit is now complete. That's... Uh... Yeah, no, it's, it's only smart to start with Halo. Even though this technology will save humanity in the war to come. remind myself liquid crystal cannot rise on its own titanium alloy cannot prevail in the face of extinction armor cannot hope yeah these are some big graphics you guys it all means nothing until you step inside. How many like, how many marketing campaigns are that? Become John Master Chief. Become Marcus Phoenix. Become Shooter Man. It's still cool. Is the audio peaking? Um, doesn't look like it. Am I dead already? I, I must be, I mean, this is a punishment, right? Yep, this is death. No! No! No, 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 no! This isn't happening. I'm going to have to make an emergency landing. Oh boy, that... Those subtitles ain't, ain't, ain't exactly it, but I think they're being done on the fly. No! Get! No! You! I can't stand this! I'll protect you. you. Breathe. No! You don't get to tell me what to do. You don't get to tell me anything! We're... Are you even listening? I count three anti-aircraft cannons. Three what? You'll be safe here. Oh! I'll be safe. <laughs> safe? I haven't been safe since I found you. Oh I boy. found you, remember? You were out there on your own. And He's you got a plucky sidekick now? In addition to Cortana? I thought I was going home. There won't be a home if we don't stop the banished. You keep saying that. The we're banished? We're outgunned, outnumbered. Is that a, uh... I know I saw condors over there. I'm going to dig through them and find one with the working sleep space drive. And when you're done with this war... We get away from yeah, I know he doesn't have Cortana, so he needs a new sidekick. Right here. He needs a new wacky guy to yell, yell, tell you what to do when you're in your head. Let me see what I can find. Cannons first. When I get back, we can look. <laughs> Fucking Kevin. Together. Okay, big guy. <gasps> Video game. All right, let's do it. So I was I was wondering uh, a lot of people identified that Master Chief had like a like a grappling hook looking thing. I was wondering if they were if a big thing about Infinite was giving you more traversal options, so that you could like be on an actual full like environment sim Halo. So like, I mean it's it doesn't look like it's a ah, shit. Sorry, my coffee's ready. Oh, it is a Halo. Okay, hold on. Ah! Oh! Okay. Small desk. Yeah, I got haloed. I don't know, I, I just had like... I had a vision in my head of Master Chief, like, grappling onto a ghost or something, and then, like, ricochet rocketing him, like, across the halo. Wouldn't that be sick? Of like... 
You're like, well, there's a gun battery up there. That, I don't know. That's probably not happening. But wouldn't that be cool? To like, fire yourself through space and land on something else? I, uh, I do love that they're already like, this is that one level from Combat Evolved everyone loves. Which is, we're gonna, like, level two, basically. We're gonna drop you in on the Halo, and you have these three objectives, and you can do them in whatever order you want. Um, to me, this, this demo is already very much like, hey, we're taking it back! Also, bur bullet dispersal seems to be way down. They're making it play more like a normal shooter. The, uh... The, like, sound effects are a lot more percussive than the combat, right? Like, the rifles usually are in Halo. Halo has become the Ubisoft open world game. I mean, a lot of people point to that as, like, one of the, one of the more, like, gameplay-defining parts of Halo Combat Evolved, and I don't think they're wrong. The only problem is it only happened, like, once. This is Halo, dude. This is like Combat Evolved remade so far. You're on a Halo, everything looks blocky. You're Master Chief alone, kind of. Maybe you'll run into some other Marine guys for some reason. And well, that landscape looks a little different. So squares. take on it. They got those, they got those jungle drums back. I don't know, as, as much as, like, Marty o Ooh. I like that a lot. Okay. It's- it's- I swear to god, Traversal is the- the- the, like, unexplored frontier of console first-person shooters. Oh, That's pretty cool! So that- okay. So, like, the- the big dynamic with Halo is always, like, energy and ballistic weapons, and they both had unique properties. Um, being able to pull, like, barrels and stuff to you, I feel like does- does change that texture a little bit. Probably for the better? You don't have to, like, memorize levels and know which guns you need to have at what points anymore. Because they, uh, they can put stuff in the- well, I guess they could have done with the guns, too, but... They can, uh, put things at specific places. Oh, okay. Getting close to Devil May Cry. <laughs> the, hmm. Yeah, th those traversal options are very interesting. Very Doom-like. It's. I think it's the sound design that's, that's more close to Doom. That Those really punchy gun sound effects. Paka, paka, paka. Oh boy. Not Thanos. A broken skirt. Hunted, defeated by me. I wish Get I could see our new you villain. It was difficult, but it wasn't. <laughs> we are one step ahead, always. The ring is already under our control. Soon, the auditorium is well. The Harbinger and the Banished share the same goal. We fight together to honor the will of Atriarchs. But without challenge, I grew weary, lost, alone. But here Legends, our story will 
Why is he posturing to us? Because he's a comic book villain. Bum, bum, bum. Hell yeah. Uh, I, 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 I do remember remarking it's been a long time since we've had video game villains just straight monstering the camera or the player. Puny human, you cannot shoot me with your many machine guns. Oh crap, he's got we guns. Hope you enjoyed your first look at Halo Infinite's campaign. I'm incredibly proud of the team at 343. And we're thrilled to share just a covering up the lower the third epic a little battles bit, that await you on the next chapter of Master Chief's journey. Are we watching this on YouTube? This is the most ambitious Higher campaign we've ever created at 343. For the first time, players will have the freedom local to recording. explore a mysterious new Halo ring that's They're several Bond times villains? larger than our last Marvel villains. Marvel villains, more like. That dude was Halo straight up Thanos. Built from the ground up to take Apart from his, like, Fox Series X. genuine zest for combat, vistas, they even put in a site where he's like, It has cost back. me so much and I am weary. Ten times the processing power like, okay, per pixel we've got, like, of Halo 5. That sort of like Alexander the Great. 60 frames per second and will allow vibe. us to bring the Halo ring to life in ways that have never been possible before. We look forward to sharing even more 60 about Halo Infinite 60 in the coming months, free. including the first look at multiplayer. And now, please enjoy a glimpse of what others in the Xbox Game Studios family have been working on. Kick that shit down to 320 by 240. World premiere. That was a solid reveal. I like that. It showed you, uh, it showed you the new mechanic, which I guess is the grapple. But that actually means a lot for Halo, um, which I hope doesn't sound as condescending as it just did to me. <laughs> Halo, Halo is always like your movement speed in Halo is pretty capped, unless you're in a car. Was it state of decay? Team World Premiere, baby. World Premiere. Yeah, that was that was cool. Huge anus. Also, I <laughs> great name. Also, I feel like kind of a statement of intent. Uh, having it on a ring. You are Master Chief. Showing that you can pick your one of three objectives. Go to it uh, in the order you want. Like it's it's going back to that that open world element that I think a lot of people really really identify with Halo that it hasn't had. Since combat evolved, really? <laughs> All the Halos have been pretty strictly linear. Even even combat evolved wasn't that non-linear. It just had that one or two parts. Oh, Last of Us, you think? Yeah, it could be. Could be. No, it's too early for Last of Us. Unless they had DLC in development while the game was in development. That's. I mean, usually you can do some some concepting, but you wouldn't have enough for a trailer. I certainly wouldn't want to announce it. But it could be Last of Us. Who knows? Reach wasn't that linear sometimes. I'm pretty sure this is State of Decay. Yeah. It's Family Guy Kart Racing 2. <laughs> Wrong company. There's that too. Last of Us on Xbox, finally. Sorry guys. I haven't had my coffee yet. Welcome everyone to the Xbox Game Show. It's Phil! Today, we're showing games from nine of our 15 Xbox Again, Game Studios. The most alpha gamer unveils right now, at five least. new first party games. What you will see today is how Xbox Game Studios are harnessing their passions to bring their dreams to life. We believe that how you find and play your games <laughs> is as important as the device you play them on. Why is that so funny? Xbox Game Pass is the best way to discover and play and we want you to be able to experience as many great games as possible. So Game Pass members, you can play every game you see today. They have to keep saying that. Free to play. They have to keep saying that because people These don't remember or believe play it. best on Xbox Series X. PC, you Philistine. Matched fidelity, performance, Phil. precision, and immersion. Tear my heart out, we Phil. The most consistently powerful next generation console. And we built state-of-the-art platform technology kind of to allow every view electronics to realize their full vision. One sticker hey, kind of has good always pushed the limits of our hardware is Turn 10. Wait, Turn 10? And they're early in development on yeah. the next Forza Motorsport. But the Xbox Series X is bringing them closer to their dream of unprecedented realism with ray tracing and native 4K resolution all 
at 60 frames per second. Turn 10 wouldn't the be Motorsport 8. About to see was captured no, wait, Playground is Horizon. Never mind. Engine. Yes, you're right. We knew this was coming. World right. premiere. I wonder if they invented new cars. Yes, Forza. It's Italian. Presenting Laguna Seca 2. Nurburgring 2. We put that shit in space. <laughs> Daytona 2. <laughs> We've done it. The sequel to NASCAR. You ever wanted to turn left in a spaceship? That, that font's a little Tron looking, huh? That looked all right. But like, how do you how do you make a trailer for a Forza Motorsport game? <laughs> Look, the cars are more realistic than ever. They kind of were before too. Is it ever wild? I'm excited to see more of this. Our world has a rhythm. We all sense it. But only a few truly feel it. It is found in the smallest moments. New IP? Every yeah. Step, a perilous journey. They announced this at XO a while ago, but they didn't show much of it. So this symmetry of ritual. I'm seeing like co-op open world adventure game. In the bonds we share. With uh I think a pretty generous dose of Avatar. In, in some of these characters and like the way that they're using like moments, hand motions and, and dance movements to sort of interact with the reality or with their world or whatever. It teaches us to look beyond the expected. To be oh, little babies. in dark places. So maybe it's like Monster Hunter, except you're not hunting them, you're helping them. Monster Helper. To seek answers. What if they'll say about Game Pass? Just that every game that you see will be part of Game Pass. But that was always the value proposition of Game Pass, so. Our world has a rhythm. We all sense it. But only a few truly feel it. Oh, it's the Deer God, too. So, four player co op, go around and heal animals game. I am I am fascinated, and I, I swear to God, it's it's a virt or it's a part and parcel with game developers getting older. But there are. Everwild will give to you a magical and untamed natural world for you to explore. There are more and, and more games that aren't about shooting and murdering. It's a place to be eternal. And eternal. Which, I get tons of credit to Sea of Thieves for that. And feel how you can be a shithead in Sea of Thieves because it, it's about pirates. Every living thing. But it's not about killing everyone. The team here at Rare are so excited to be working on something like Everwild. And I hope you're excited too. But I just want to take this opportunity to say a massive, massive thank you to everyone who's shown their support and love and for the incredible, awesome, positive community that's already growing around this game. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, that looks really... I am fascinated to see what kind of game loop that game has. I think you, you saw some, like, features from the trailer. Oh, Life is Strange. I just got hit with a flood of memories. Love you, Mom. Or... You the other don't nod game? Mom? Allison? Yeah. It doesn't oh, matter. right. They're making a new one. What's it called? It's like the Twin us. Peaksy one. Angel Falls or something that like that. That night was self defense. But we couldn't be sure. It doesn't matter that they kept us apart. Life is Brother, strangest. Sister, we look out for each other. 
It doesn't matter that finding the truth feels impossible. They announced this already. It looks really cool though. I'm down for it. We're all done with fairy tales. The only thing that matters <laughs> is you're my brother. It ain't David Cage, no deal. Uh, shoot. I didn't the bring a coffee mug forward despite bringing a whole fucking French press. Keep looking back. It's already been pressed, so it wouldn't oversteep. We've been getting these visions whenever we see or hear something really emotional. Denim wearing hippies Everything superpowers are feelings. About Marianne just got thrown out the window. She loved you. <laughs> Times are weird. You. We both saw it. Just drink out of the French. Coming here would be closing a chapter of our lives. Oh, I have my. Um, one second. Nothing good comes from stirring up old memories. We don't really have a choice about that. There's always a choice, son. I can't do this. Stop! Woo! <laughs> Hey everyone, my name is Gennady. I'm the co-founder and director of technology at Moon Studios. What Today, I miss? we're very excited to tell you that we're working on a very, very special version of Ori and the Will of the Ooh. Wisps, specifically for Xbox Series Ooh. X. We're now at a time- Yes, we're gonna get some info about like- fidelity and frame rates previously oh, absolutely impossible on any console. You know, morning, Joe, and like morning, Ori John. Can now run at a little coffee, one seventeen hertz refresh rate in full 4K HDR in its highest oh. quality, delivering unprecedented game feel with silky smooth animation, super crisp, per sharp second. image, and low input latency, which is just so important for the tight and precise platforming feel. The last time I was playing Doom, I was on 60 hertz. I knew something was weird about it. In different spaces in our world, by using premium audio tech that we previously just could not simulate in real time. And with all of this crazy hardware power, we can give our players more options with how they want to play the game our game. It's called Tell Me Why. We can't oh, wait for all of you to Never mind. I thought it was something else. Special version of Ori coming to put milk in your mug first. Only when I'm later this year. Scrambling to not miss a Microsoft conference. Hello, Bobcat. Good morning. It's like a robot fighting game. The furthest reaches of the universe comes the biggest mystery in the galaxy. I like this already. Robots. Now, shady corporate intrigue. Autos. Are the Gorgon asteroid. Is this like outer world DLC? Over, full of salacious secrets and scandalous strangers. Greetings, attractive patron. You are looking downright unlawful today. With the right kind of case. They wanted us to develop a private division, though? Can put you on the wrong side of a gun. So I guess or so they have other studios, like, making DLC? That's kind of cool. Thrills. Danger. Intrigue. A word of advice before you go, Captain? System Trust exclusive DLC. no one. So... You get the game with Game Pass. Do you also get all DLC what with Game Pass? I assume you do. Gorgon. <laughs> this unit can shoot do any drinks. I think it actually said. Hold on a second. I think it actually said in that. Hold on a minute. And bring you any. Underworld's base game available on Apparently, go must be purchased separately, and Xbox Game Pass members get ten percent off. Ha ha. If you ah. For the best ah. game of the year. So this is this is uh, Obsidian's next game, Wait Grounded. For Cyberpunk. Hey! But if you're ready for the smallest, we've got you covered. Hell yeah! 
Hopefully Steph just did a little uh, fist pump. The makers of games that are nothing like this one. Hey, when they send me a grounded chair, I'll sit in it. Together. No, I won't. I'll keep sitting in there. Or just feed your friend to the spiders and go solo. <laughs> more survival, more crafting. Exactly. I get the shakes if I don't punch a tree every day. Oh, references. That's cute, though. That's cute. I like that. I'm a sucker for that kind of thing. Bethesda's been doing that a lot lately. Putting uh, references to other Bethesda games in their games. At Obsidian, we're dedicated to pushing narrative and role-playing games. It's something we do every day when we come to the office, and we can't wait for you to play our next great adventure, Paralong. Yeah, Paralong. Honey, it's I Shrunk the, the Kids. I mean, plan story expansion the people who grew up watching Honey, I Shrunk the Kids get to make games now. So, private division. Now, it's also we went through a rash of, of people making '80s action movies as video games because that's what they grew up with. Now we're, I think, entering the people who came of age in the '90s, and we're going to start getting a lot of like games that let you play through '90s movies. Now, what's great is that you're so, going to be able to play the game on July 28th can't wait for free on Xbox Game Preview and can't on wait. Steam Early Access. We want to hear from you, and we want to continue to build Grounded together. Oh yeah, if you've been wondering, we have been working on that next big Obsidian RPG. Ooh. Check this out. <gasps> You can't do this to me, Obsidian. You can't do this. You can't show me an RPG like this, Obsidian. You can't do this. All right, hold on. Is he speaking that fast? He might be nervous. We have always known war. Sometimes people get nervous when you put a camera on them, and they tend to talk quickly. It actually takes a lot of a lot of uh, practice to not do that. It forged our empire. Heroes into queens and kings. Are they? This is an Age of Empires. Tyranny 2? Decimated our foes. I'm not even familiar with tyranny. You got skillies? Now our oaths are lost. Forsaken. What's tyranny? Oh, it's Dark Soul. And you must face the monsters. Ah, is this Dark Messiah 2? I see sword and magic hand. That's Dark Messiah of Might and Magic to me. Is an oath. <laughs> but that's not weight of a crown. Not obsidian, I don't think. New IP, I guess. Unless it's got a subtitle. Neat. That logo treatment looks a little bit like Frozen. But if that's like if that's like a dungeon crawling sword magic. First person RPG where you like your character never talks. Oh, it is an expansive I'm into that. first person RPG set in the fantasy world of Eora. When Obsidian Entertainment joined Xbox Game Studios, they told us uh, that this epic It's been game so long the since it's been like, make. you are a warrior critically acclaimed in the realm of Eucharia. Their best. And it is being built from the ground up to take full advantage of the power of Xbox Series X. At Xbox Game Studios, we also work with independent developers, always with the goal of empowering them to bring their ideas to life. I'm excited to announce our work with Interior Night, a new studio led by some of the most talented storytellers in our industry. Let's meet Caroline Marshall, studio head of Interior Night. Where are my dumb Night, baby games? To debut their original. They're gonna be. They're gonna be in the middle somewhere. You gotta start and finish strong for the gamers. It's almost like you have to. Bonjour. I'm Caroline from Interior Night. Our team is really passionate. You gotta really manage the gamers, just so you don't have a social media shitstorm to deal with. Because when you play a story, you step into the character's shoes. Yeah, Zach, they opened with Halo. You experience their fears, their hopes. They look pretty sick. Their conflicts firsthand. And in the process, you learn more about yourself. And this is quite powerful. <laughs> Our first game spans 30 years in the American Southwest. It's a story about family, resilience, and sacrifice. But most of all, so wait, it's about how you will shape the fate did, did, did of they real, just... flawed people trying to find their way in a world they don't fit in. Is this another Microsoft I Studio? I enjoyed the trailer. Did they like just kind of slip in? World or they, premiere. Is this studio owned by... I guess it doesn't really matter. I mean, Xbox Game Studios. I guess they may be publishing. 
Fortune, fortune, smile and yeah, finally. A magic, a magic and sword game that targets white dudes. We've been waiting so long. We were on our way to start a new life that summer. For our family, it was just a stopover. Ooh. That's kind of cool, like motion Life. comic style. It was the end of the road. On the ground, now! The sun went down on all of us that day. Was it fate? Coincidence? No. It was a long forgotten secret. Buried in the dark. All my life, I've been scared of the shadows. But now, I'm finally ready to step into the light. I got your letters. What kind of game is it? Is it just like visual novel? Yeah, maybe. Here at Ninja Theory, we're hard at work looks on cool. all of our projects, including Senua Saga Hellblade 2. All of which them, we announced you say. at the Game Awards back in December. An incredible 3.5 million players have now experienced Senua's story in Hellblade Senua's Sacrifice. We're excited to start novel. giving you an insight into what comes next. I mean, Telltale isn't really a visual novel. An experience that we'll be building it's in close Unreal Engine 5, adjacent, Xbox but... Series X, and PC. Like, even Telltale has happy to reveal today that scenarios where you can work around and or walk around and choose what to interact system. with. Visual novels more like a series of menus, which you know. And you, you can argue. find out more. It's an abstraction about our location for that. scouting and how we've discovered the history of our setting in a brand new behind the scenes development diary, which you can view straight after the show on the Ninja Theory YouTube channel. Uh, PlayStation had over 1 million viewers, Xbox thing around 250, is Twitch that more PlayStation forward? Eh, PlayStation is a worldwide brand, um, and it always has been. Um, it's been Microsoft so is a little more West leaning. The impact that Hellblade Senua's sacrifice has had on so many players and we're incredibly thankful to all of the fans that have been part of Sam's Telltales are not really so enough game to be called a game, special novel extra straps. It is, journey. but it also misses Here that on. aspect of visual novels where you're kind of intended to play through it multiple times to even understand some of the more basic movements of the story. Like, it is, to me, it is a little conceptually different, at least than a lot of the visual novels I've played. Oh, we got Double Fine now. All right, I'm sure that they're going to announce release dates. But you're right. I mean, you're right. It's. Do you want to say hi to Peter? He's on the line. What? Here. Peter? Peter, he's been sitting there the whole time? Hey, who wrote the song? Oh my God. I just realized Jack Black sounds nearly identical to oh, John dear. Smith if you close your Fantastic eyes. Fantastic work. Love the song. I want to live there. Anyway. Very much. It's going to be fun to sing it. Now it's time to. Oh, he's doing a song for Psychonauts? Probably been a long time since you've had a visitor. I hope you don't mind Poppins. Where are we? Shh. It's a quiet place. Lost alone. Wow. Neither skin nor bone. Just a thought is all I've got. Now my covers blow at the bottom of a lake of frozen. Point Raz's turtleneck. When my friends pulled me back up, I started. This is so 60s, man. Oh my god. 
God. This is so perfectly parody. So perfect parody of like acid laced 60s rock. I could smell the universe. God. <laughs> it's so on the nose and like all this Illuminati imagery and shit. Psychedelic color strobing. This is like amazing uh, art direction because this is probably just the one brain. That's the thing about Psychonauts, right? <laughs> Every world you go into is. Which I never. Never. God, I gotta play Psychonauts again. It's like a del delicate knots, yeah. No date. No date, Tim. We're gonna have to wait a little longer then. We can't wait for you to experience the amazing games built by Xbox Game Studios. And there is just so much more for you to play on Xbox. We are partnering with thousands of creators, from the largest publishers to the smallest independent developers. This You're style is on point, though. Of games Black and ever. gold? I like it. There is one developer Keys in particular with that the, is close the necklace to us. with the earrings. Not just geographically, but in history, too. That red bell? I'm thrilled to announce that this fall, our friends at Bungie will bring Destiny 2 to Xbox Series X and Xbox Game Pass. What? If you are one of the more than 10 million Game Pass subscribers, you also get access to all current Destiny 2 expansions Th starting this September. Is that Game Pass on PC as well? For Game Pass Ultimate members, Destiny 2 will also be playable on mobile from the cloud. Later this year, Bungie will also release oh, I guess that's the last video game I'm ever playing. Destiny 2 that is optimized for Xbox Series X. 4K resolution running at 60 frames per second. Here's an all new look at Bungie's Destiny 2 Beyond Light. Oh. Ice, okay. I've seen terrible. I have to add an ice element out in the no. darkness. It's cold now. Every moment brings them close. I am totally okay with like snow expansions. It's time to step beyond like the uh light. Iceborne. Which I haven't finished yet. I gotta get back on Monster Hunter. God damn it, there's too many video games! Oh! Wait, that's wild. Wait, so there's gonna be an entire class that can make platforms? That seems like a little much. Like, it seems like you would need that class for specific things. I guess you can switch at will, but... Yeah, Carrion came out today. Um, if they can make walls and ledges, that's also going to affect PvP pretty intensely. I'm sure that's that they've thought of all these things, still. You can play any way you want, thanks to Xbox Game Pass. Some of the world's most inspired developers are working on games for Xbox Series X, and we're just honored to be able to collaborate with them. Xbox Series X will empower both new and experienced creators to bring the future of games to life like never before. Unique perspectives, unexpected innovations, heating, and though. fresh voices God, that the demand to be heard and that we can't wait for you to discover. Microsoft is not letting All anything of the overheat games ever we're again. About to see are being built to launch exclusively on Xbox consoles. Thanks and enjoy. World premiere. So now we're in exclu wait, Xbox consoles. So I guess we can't can we assume that these are PC as well? I don't know. What is this? I've seen that logo before. I don't remember what they do though. Is this Stalker? I know Game Pass is on PC, but something being Game Pass on console doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be in the Game Pass program on PC as well. Even though it is on both platforms. It the marketing gets a little a little messy there. I think this is Stalker 2. <laughs> like, of all the games we joke about, them slapping a 2 on the end of... I mean, they announced Stalker 2 a while ago. 
We just haven't uh, heard anything about it in a million years. Yeah, this is definitely Stalker. Stalker 2. 2! <laughs> exactly, Flave. What if we just put another 2 on the end of it? Yeah, bolt throwing. Like radioactive things. Get out of here, Stalker. Alright, fine. Interesting. Rise of the Sky Stalker. What's your name? Peter. Peter Stalker. No, 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 no. Sick. We're On a console, no less. That game, that game ground down PCs when it came out. So, yeah, cheeky breaky, lads. World premiere. Under rail three. Two. GTFO maybe? Oh no wait, it's a world premiere. It could be anything. It does look like four player co-op, like PvE shooting, class based because they have different guns. My Lord Inquisitor. Oh, it's a PC? Alright. I've reached a term of prime and begun our investigation. Yeah, Warhammer? Yeah, 40k. Awesome. How is Warhammer Squad flourishing, man? Sub-level six of the hive to determine the full extent of the unrest. I'm down. I am down, dude. If you make a Left 4 Dead style 40k, because like I know that Vermintide is right there, but I love 40k. Oh shit. Look at how tiny these little inquisitors are. Oh, if right. They make it back. Oh, right. They released the IP long ago, so anyone can make games based on 40k. Are you serious? Yeah, I guess Games Workshop is not there at all, aside for Hammer official license product. World premiere. <sighs> Only games, though? No tabletop? Space Hulk was left for dead? Ah, uh, I never looked into it. Uh, Space Hulk, that is. Ooh! Yes! These are the guys that did uh, Tetris Effect. And it's Mizuguchi Studio. Born, oh, Tetris Effect's coming to Xbox. Okay. Alright. Right on. Yes, my boy! Let me touch you, Tetsuya! When it comes to, like, games that don't revolve around violence... Hey, she was wearing the red shirt! Uh... I respect the absolute shit out of Tetsuya Mizuguchi for continually trying to make games that are more about, uh, that was, that was Jay Chenzer. Uh, that are about something other than... Alright, that's cute. Make Space Channel 5 3, please. Tetris Effect, like, after Tetris Effect, I can't really ask for much. That game was made for me. Only for me. I wonder if that means it's coming to PC. That reminds me, I won, uh, I won 20 bucks playing Tetris last night. That feels pretty good. Oh! So, they had modes like this in, uh, in old, like, open source net versions of Tetris. Where, like, four people play in the same well. Oh, it already was on PC. You're right. I'm, I'm sorry. Cool. Optimized single player. What does that mean? Yeah, it's World been on PC. Premiere. You're right. I think I even have it installed. I just I just blanked. I need to play through it on PC. Oh. I started some of the SteamWorld First Dig orbit. games. Scans a no -go. They were fun. Sure you want to drop here? Oh, hell yeah. Already lacing up my boots back here. <laughs> Got another good-for-nothing space rock. Whoa. This looks like a Steam World game. It's just 3D. Whoa! This looks awesome. Find anything good? Vex, you're not gonna believe this. Bring back Mugen. Ouch. What the? 
Salty Bet's over there turning away. Do you try Touch to Effect in VR? Oh yeah. I'm PlayStation VR. Um, now that I have a better kit and it's on PC, I should try it there too. I like this music. Oh, Journey to the Savage Planet 2? Maybe. Steam Worlds, yeah, with S for the dollar sign. Steam World Infinite. What do you think of Halo Infinite? I thought, huh. to me, it looked more like a game that was built specifically to accomplish some goals. Oh, I like it. I'm fascinated. I also like games about cleaning. Um. But, uh, I think I, I can appreciate that they felt like Halo Infinite needed to do- Ooh! I love Bloober. Um, wait, do we know what Bloober's doing next? They did Blair Witch. They, like, flipped that way fast. And I'm trying to remember if they announced their project after that already. Are they doing some Cthulhu stuff? It all starts with a dead girl. Oh, butterfly effect? The medium. That's what it was. Yeah. A forest. Thank you. Captain. Halo, right. Sorry. Um scent of pines. I feel like the whole goal of, of Infinite and certainly its marketing is going to be to like the gunshot. It's to to really be, make people be like Halo's back. And I feel like yeah, Infinite as a trailer has two sides. Hit all the notes it needed to. Then again, I am not a Halo fanatic, so it's possible that somebody who's more on the scene had higher expectations. But to me, I thought it did everything it needed to do. Um, it had a little bit of old, a little bit of new. And you're still John Master Chief fighting some evil guy. Detective game? Yeah, I think so. You ha you're like a, I think you're like a detective with some uh, supernatural... Perceptive ability. Hello? Alana Wake. Anyone there? Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Dual rendered gameplay. Whoa. Alright. What is this place? Can you like click back and forth? I wonder okay, so. That could be that could be really badass if like monsters in one reality can still can still affect you and attack you in another. The idea of like an invisible enemy. Also, it looks like she's got like a barnacles and stuff growing on her arm. Yeah, it really does seem to be touching on like Cthulhu Eldritch Terror sort of imagery. Things being below the ocean. Those are very, like, Geiger-esque sort of, uh, you know, face-hugger-type kind of hands. World premiere. That looked awesome. I'm so into that, man. Also, just Bluebird team in general. <gasps> is this Sanic? Oh, wait, no, I think this is the Knight's, uh, like, spiritual successor. Oh, it's Fantasy Star, okay. Fantasy Star Online 2. Right? Or are we doing two, two? No, okay. It's it is a nearly decade old game, which I actually still need to get into. People have told me that it's a real cozy game, so this isn't two though, right? Two doesn't look this good, does it? Maybe it does. Yeah, nobody that's played PSO2 says that it's bad. Um, just that it's old, which I can handle. Yeah, is this Fantasy Star Online 3? Or just a new Fantasy Star, which would be deeply confusing. This might just be a new Fantasy Star game. No, it looks like it's multiplayer. Unless they're just the UI down there looks like multiplayer, but it may not be. 
Oh, it said PSO2 remastered? All right, never mind. <laughs> I wonder if, um... This is sort of what it looks like on PC. Yeah, that's that's what I would think, maybe. There's no way a, like, seven-year-old game looks that good. Okay. Re-release, got it. Um, da -da -da -da. I, 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 does character progress transfer? I only assume it does. Look, Xenoblady, it does, stupid plane. Luis Torres. I've seen your future. Global risk is get off the weapon. You will become. Oh, man. Oh, Crossfire. All right. Wait, that's later, right? Destiny chose me to save this world. Remedy. I will see it done. What are you doing, Remedy? You know that I've already sworn a blood pact to Remedy, so I already love this game. We make our own path. We protect our own. Can you protect me from fate? This is this has like kind of crisis vibes. You're a soldier who found a suit, and now the world's after you. I guess that's every shooter ever. <laughs> Welcome to Half-Life. You're some dude who found a suit. Welcome to Crisis. You're some dude who found a suit. Welcome to Halo. You're some dude who has a suit. <laughs> I know, it's more complicated than that. That was cool. Are they doing a can are they doing a, a campaign for Crossfire? Is Remedy doing a Crossfire you campaign? Saw 10 world premieres and 22 That's very weird. launch exclusives. But game Pass members interesting. can play every game you have seen today from Xbox Game Studios and all of our partners. Now I have to watch the tuxedo. The Please don't. Or free to play. This is just a peek. Actually, yes you should. Never mind. You absolutely should. Yes. To Xbox Series X. And some of the games you already love, and some you have yet to play, will also be optimized for Xbox Series X. That's kind of cool. Games like Forza Horizon 4, Gears. I don't have a whole lot of interest in Crossfire, CFP. but uh, you'll get the next gen. I'd play a Remedy campaign for no just about anything. When they launch, you can expect a lineup of over 100 titles for Xbox Series X. Now that's an interesting season. approach, though. With Series X and Game Pass, Xbox is the place to play. I could and be wrong. Are at the center but I feel like everything we that's do. one of the more now, uh, we visible noticed, we didn't get to visit ways of adapting a property to today. what each that individual region wants for it more to share so crossfire is huge in like South Korea then, as a free-to-play shooter it is it is counter-strike basically um, but to make it break over here you can't just launch a multiplayer shooter because we already have counter-strike so got to make a got to make a campaign to hook it in Playground, yeah, I don't think they've... Wait a minute. I don't know that they've launched anything yet. The world is filled with stories. They're British. Legendary you guys, this might be Fable. Oh my god. A treacherous villain. It's gotta be. There's nothing else this could be, right? Unless they're rebranding something, but... Fantastical creatures. And wondrous... Also, Playground is British. They're a British dev. And magic. Living... Perfect harmony. Yeah, this has got to be Fable. There's no way. Not all stories have happy With endings. dumb humor like that. Unless they're just making something new that is Fable and not calling it Fable. Has yet to be written. What does that even mean, though? Sick. That's, that's a good ender, too. No Age of Empires, but... You, you son of a bitch! Dylan, you son of a bitch. Oh, that was their new RPG. Playground is the, they're the Horizon guys. Did, surely somebody had called that one, right? They announced they were working on an RPG a long time ago. So no release dates on 
anything. Except knowing that Infinite is a launch game, but... I guess I assumed... Motorsport was going to be a launch title, too. Yeah, no Beyond Good and Evil, but... I mean, this was... This was largely only first party with a few exceptions. Uh, I guess Remedy is a first party studio, so the Crossfire makes sense. Fantasy Star was kind of weird. No Elden Ring, yeah. I don't know. I feel like I feel like this this showcase was more about first party studios, so Elden Ring obviously wouldn't really fit. Um, Huh. What's the grade? B plus? Um... Yeah, and Stalker 2 is not, uh... It's, it's weird because that, that conference was like 90% Microsoft owned, owned studios, so I wonder why. Like, why did the two or three get through that weren't Microsoft? Showcase was pretty underwhelming. I don't know. I felt like it... <sighs> I felt like it was about as good as Sony's. Um, with with marks taken away for, like, no release dates again. Um, still no price, yeah. No price, no release date. Interesting. Interesting. Nothing blew me away. I mean, yeah, I guess, I guess there weren't like huge surprises aside from Fable. Uh, that's pretty cool. So th it's weird because I feel like um, if they were only supposed to show games, then they did their job, right? Um, and if they're only supposed to show the specific games that are gonna make the Series X a unique experience, then they did their job, uh, I think. In the way that Sony did with the PS5 as well. Although Sony's Sony's approach was a lot more broad, I think. they. They focused on first party as well as a bunch of third party stuff. They seem to be focusing mostly on the things that would make the Series X a unique experience. Still no reason to get an Xbox for me, especially since Halo is going to be on PC. I think that's fine. <laughs> I don't. I don't think Microsoft is in the business of trying to sell an Xbox to people who have Windows running. You know, they're already in the Microsoft family anyway. So, uh, I would. Yeah, I would have liked to see um, release dates for any of those games. Uh, I would have liked to have, if we're in the if we're in the, the window now of like, tell me what my experience is gonna be like with this console, I feel like I would have also, I st I'm still waiting for either Sony or Microsoft to have some larger, more focused messaging about like the day one experience of not only the games that will be launched on day one, but also backwards compatibility um, and, and what that's gonna look like. So still not still not getting that. Um, but as far as the games announced, I thought they, that's a really, I think it's a really solid lineup and it showed well. Uh, and I guess that like, you know, most of their studios are doing so. I would have liked to see a bit more than just awesome CGI, awesome CG shorts. Yeah. Uh, yes, yes, same. Well, let's, let's think about it. Uh, theoretically you saw gameplay of the medium, you saw gameplay of Halo Infinite. Um, it's kind of it. Uh, what game caught your attention from that lineup? Uh, Everwild looks really, really, really interesting. Uh, mostly because I have no idea how it's going to play. That's kind of the thing for me, is uh, if a game is, is mysterious. Psychonauts look like gameplay? Uh, brief sections of it. Like, it, it was cut into a, like a sizzle reel, I think. They didn't really have a tech demo a la Ratchet and Clank SSD loading. Yeah, you're right. But but even still, that was the only one. But yeah, there were there wasn't really like a, a tech gimmick that was like, ooh, there it is. That's the thing. Um, I guess the point is like mm, that uh, it's supposed to be like high resolution and that's not gonna translate over a stream. Oh boy, and Bruce is already in it. Uh, so hold on a second. Um, yeah, Bruce is calling. Yes, I see. <laughs> uh, this is going to take some setup. Uh, one second, one second. Wait, maybe, maybe it won't. Hold on, let me. Oh boy. 
I have to like, I basically have to rearrange my desktop to do anything other than exactly what I'm doing right now. Ugh. Yeah. Well, you need the new console for the Destiny 2 stuff. Ah, PC baby. Uh, okay. See the Balan Wonderland trailer from the pre-show? No. I didn't see any of the pre-show. I was busy showering and trying to brew coffee. Uh, yeah, the 40k game looked really cool. I'm gonna be into that, but PC... You know, like, it doesn't matter, because my... Uh, I feel like Sony's conference is buy a PlayStation 5. Microsoft's conference is sign up for Game Pass. So, like, when you start to think about those two diverging goals, then it starts to make more sense what they're doing, you know, and how they presented their information. So, the like, the ask is different. Sony's Sony's trying to get you to buy a $500 box. Microsoft wants $15 a month from you. I wanted there to be a good reason for me to upgrade my Xbox, but I may just wait till more games come out. Pretty reasonable take. That's typically uh, it's typically how new uh, new uh, generations work. Yeah, I'm gonna get one just because I like getting new consoles. It's it's kind of part of it's the gamer circle of life, you know. I'm gonna be honest. Like if Microsoft put out an X brick and called it a new console, I'd probably buy it just because. There's something exciting about new new console generations, even if it's going to immediately gather dust because I'm going to play everything on my PC anyway. Um, so, yeah, the gamer lifestyle, exactly. All right, so here's here's the idea. Uh, we are going to do talk to the internet now and talk about the conference. So I think me and Bruce are just going to be chatting. So I'm going to hop on the call with him. Um, actually, I'm going to use the restroom first. And then... We're going to chit-chat. We're going to talk about video games with you guys. So, no cracking today? I don't know if he's awake. <laughs> we gave him a heads up last night, and he was uh, non-committal. <laughs> because I would be too, if I usually stayed up until like 4 a.m. Um, so, we'll see. We'll see. All right. Uh, well, that was cool, though. I mean, I'm I'm always down with, with cool new video games. So, Sony's already won Next Generation, to be honest. Well, I mean, they're probably going to sell more PlayStations. Yeah, but Moonlighter, again, like... Selling boxes isn't the victory condition anymore. Um, if Microsoft can get people on Game Pass, like that's that's them winning, I think. Um, he was drunk on Milky. Blech. Okay, uh, so yeah, like I said, I'll be back. Uh, and then Bruce and I are gonna chat a little bit. So um, the stream may come down because Bruce re restreams from his place so we all have the same stream, if that makes any sense. Um, yeah, Blockbuster's running way more DVDs than Netflix. Yeah, I don't mean to make that comparison because I still feel like the, the console market is still plenty viable. And Sony's not stupid. Like, they're not they're not going to get caught with their pants down. Uh, they're both making plays, except Microsoft is pushing it way harder and way earlier. You know? Uh, Sony has Bugsnax. Well, Bugsnax is not an exclusive, right? Or is it just PS5 and Epic? I don't remember. Okay, sorry. Got to take a bathroom break. Be right back with Bruce. Uh, we'll be we'll be we'll be big chatting, big gamer chats, and then uh, and then all kinds of video games. Carrion's out. Uh, I I still have to reclaim my honor and doom. A lot of cool stuff. All right, see you guys in just a second. 